I think this is one of the problems is we've made mistaken safety for security. So safety is like, oh, I want, I've got to protect my child all the time and I'm not going to let them, you know, get on the swings or the jungle gym because they might fall. Security is on the other hand, like knowing and having the security that I can take risks and maybe fail and maybe, you know, scrape up my arm, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to be okay. And I think that's what you're getting at with this sitting on the screens or like not doing in, you know, difficult things is that if we do that, all we're doing is detraining our alarm so that it's hypersensitive whenever we do actually do feel something uncomfortable. So actually, I was talking on, uh, you know, with a good friend who essentially relayed the story of, you know, he was taking a, a friend's child on a hike. And the kid all of a sudden says, like, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. My legs are burning. They're on fire. I'm going to lose them. And he's like, what? And then it clicked with the friend. It's like, oh, this is the first time this kid has felt like the fatigue of walking up a hill, right? So, of course, it feels really strange if you've never experienced it. But if you put yourself in situations that not just aren't just physical, but also psychological stress of getting up in front of the classroom and presenting of whatever it is, you know, going on the big stage, doing things that are a little difficult. Like all of that is, is mental training to train that sensitivity of that alarm to go off at the appropriate time and not be incredibly hypersensitive. There's a park by my house that my family would always take us to during the summer. And in this park, there was an old sliding board. Now I'm 48. So for me in this story, this is the eighties, early eighties. And this sliding board, this thing was very archaic. It was from a very long time ago. And this was a sliding board that everyone has wounds to this day because of this sliding board. And then when you got to be a teenager, you learned that if you got wax paper, you slid down this slide, it was an extra adventure. Well, they put an end to that and they redid the slide. And it's this tiny little thing now. And there was a lot of us Gen X are like, that sliding board <laughs> was a rite of passage. And it was allowed you to know that you're now a man because now you're wax papering down this slide. These kids have no way to gauge this anymore. I'm like, well, who's they even say that there's kids even at this park anymore? Because when I look around, you know, even in my old neighborhood, I asked my dad, like, what are the kids doing? My dad's like, kids, there's no kids in this neighborhood. You were, you were the last, last one. It's just funny to me to see even a, a playground from the 1950s to what a playground looks like now. You know, exactly. And I think there's actually some some brilliant research in the area of, of playgrounds and play with children where we've almost created, again, the safety element of it, which takes away some of the learning. So if you look at the research on play, it shows that Back in the day, I'm going to sound old now, but back in the day, like you go out, you play pickup basketball, you play football on the nearby field. And sometimes you get in disagreements and you get in arguments and you might even get in like a fight or two, but there weren't any adults around. So what happened is you had to learn how to solve conflict and to navigate these situations without someone else stepping in and solving it for you. So you develop some of these skills that allow you to be resilient or navigate difficult situations. And often nowadays, those situations aren't there anymore. So it's, it's one of those situations where, again, sometimes if you look at, well, how come you think people are soft? Well, it's not that people are soft. It's just that you know some of the natural mechanisms or ways that they would learn these skills in the past aren't in our environment anymore. Right. That experience is lacking. Exactly. So we have to create that experience and then that environment. And if you do so, people respond just like, you know, you did in the 80s, Johnny. Like, they'll figure it out, but they need to have that experience to do so. Mm -hmm. 